hello guys you welcome to another tutorial where i'll show you how you can get a choir effect from just one vocal i'll show you how you can make your vocal sound more unique how you can improve your maybe you already have several takes or backups how you can make it sound more fuller like a choir while it's just one voice and get a choir effect so here i have a solo track for a vocal by the artist called Triller. So I will solo the main vocal and then you hear it without the choir effect. Listen. They don't know what you go through. I made mistakes. May have lost my way, but that doesn't define who I am. So, so now then, this is with the choir effects. They like do. They don't know about what you go through. I made mistakes. May have lost my way, but that doesn't define who I am. So, all right. So I'm going to this a plugin I used. It's called Harmony Engine by Anter. It's the same company that makes um auto tune. So um, this plugin is really great. It helps a lot because there's sometimes that maybe the artist you're recording can't um get the choir effect out or maybe the artist um just can't hit those low notes by themselves so this harmony energy kind of simulates uh, a choir effect or try and create so many parts from one vocal track into so many other parts so in this place here let me walk you through the interface first of all before we hear what it can do when you open it you this is what you typically see. You set the key. This particular song, the root key is in G. You set the scale interval. You leave this scale, just leave it as scale interval here. You don't need to um, fix anything. Just leave it here. Make sure the scale is on major. Major scale. Then um, the next information that is really important is this. Set it to, if the artist has a low voice, Set it to bass or baritone. If the artist has a high pitched voice, set it to soprano. Or if it's a lady, set it to soprano. Then every other thing takes place in this um this kind of mixer channel look here. So what this does is these are different vocal parts. You can see we have the eighth, we have the eighth, we have the fifth, we have the thirds, and we also have the eighth flats also. So what the so what what this will do is you can select different parts. For example, I can select a a fifth for the lower um octave or a fifth for the higher octave, and I can just like arrange it up and get unique um vocals. So I can also mute some parts, and I can solo just to hear a single part if I want to. So let's hear what this effect how it's running. Then we'll play with it some more and see, um, like, just to get a feel of it. Alright, so... If I were to let's say now I want to I don't want it to have let, let's solo it and hear just the bass solo let's solo this sorry I have to make this my FS studio is kind of acting up today I don't know why so let me rearrange the window properly All right, I think that's fine. So, let 
Now you don't have to worry about those uh, glitches and effects. That's why you layer it up with the main vocal. It will all kind of like hide. They all kind of hide with the main vocal. So those glitches and you don't have to be worried about it. You can. It won't sound pronounced when it's all playing together with the main vocal. So this is solo just to hear the um, eighth interval. Let me leave it on. Let me turn off the rest. Then we'll gradually progress along the way. Then I can turn up turn on the next one and see how it sounds. I can select it to another um note if I want. Let's say I want it to be on the fourth. Let's say I have to sound on the fourth. It's kind of like try and error for me. So I keep trying different notes till I see what fits the song. Okay, so let's see. This is fifth. Let's try this U and see how it sounds like. Well, it's not a must to use everything. You can just like sometimes I use just maybe I just want to get the bass, like the low notes. I use just the um the eighth um lower here, this one here. I use just that. And sometimes maybe I just want to get the high notes. I use just only the high notes. Sometimes I may want to get a spectrum of them. And you can all eat, like you can be really creative with it. You can even create two tracks. One for the lows, one for the high. So you can set one to soprano and one to um, bass or baritone. If you notice, I set it, if you notice, I set it to bass or baritone. The glitch and the artifacts have reduced drastically. Let me put it to soprano. So you hear. You can see, like, as if the call the throat, like the vocal cord is stretching compared and to. No Alright, so, um, if I had to compare it now, let me, um, kind of layer it with the original vocal takes and just listen to it and see it will sound more natural. Did I know that what you go through? I made mistakes, may have lost my. I noticed th that fourth wasn't sounding right, so let me leave it back at third. Let me leave it back at third. That fourth wasn't sounding right. Let's see. Oh, you did let the do. Did I know that what you go through? I made mistakes. So that sounds much better. These sliders can be used to increase the volume or reduce the volume. Um, you can get some more variation to like um maybe play with the texture of how the chords sound. You can also do the rates here. There are some buttons here. The pitch amount. You just play around with it. It's really like this plugin is kind of try and error. You have to like play with a lot of sliders to you get the effects right. But it's totally worth the time. It's totally worth it. Especially if you want to create something totally unique that um, you can't get from out of the artist naturally. So this saves you time and energy. You just get it done, create vocal effects, choir effects on the fly, and you're really pretty much ready to go. So the things you need to look out for while you use the plugin is set the root key, set the major scale. If it's a low voice, use baritone. So that the artifacts will not be much, the artifacts and the glitch will not be much. If it's a lady or a higher pitch voice, use soprano. Or if it's just in between, you can use alto slash tenor. Then you pick out different notes that suit or complement what you are looking for. Because another artist might need something different. I might not need the low. Let me turn off the um low end and see. That is the lower notes and see. 
So I could use only the low notes. I can turn off the rest and use only the low notes. Let's hear it and see. So that's that's pretty much it for this plugin. It's an amazing plugin, Harmony Engine. I recommend it when you're mixing and you want to create a wider harmony. Even if your artist got the harmony right, using this plugin can even like emphasize it some more, make it sound much bigger, thicker, and fuller. So I recommend this plugin, Harmony Engine. And that's it for today's tutorial, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.